Today we are gonna do spell work. First in queue at the butchers, that's great news. We got here first, Bubba? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's good news. We're gonna go in a minute, see what they got. Hoping for a full rack of spare ribs and see if they'll cut them St. Louis style to square them off. Then we'll do the three, two, one method, which I'll talk you through later. But first things first, I um, hope they got it in stock first of all, so we'll find out in a minute. The butcher sorted us out, so we've got a full rack of spare ribs. Um, I'm going to do the St. Louis style, which is basically cutting them, squaring them off. So I've got the big knife to get through the bone and then the little vegetable carving knife just to take off some of the elements of fat. So if you have a look in here, you can see these two gristly tendony bits. And we've also got these almost like, <laughs> like the pig's feathers almost, but we, we don't want any of this while we're eating. So what we're going to do is attempt to, from the, from the corner of the last rib, square it off. So we're taking off all of that sinewy and gristly gnarly bits. So it is a little bit of a job, which is why we've got the big knife out. Oh, sorry about that. But that is the sound of pig bone cracking. <laughs> it's just not good for you, Rube. You haven't had breakfast yet, have you? Mm. Well, there you go. You can have a... Okay, there we go. So, what you can see we're now left with is we've taken off all of those horrible gnarly bits. That's all just all just tendon and gristle, basically. A little bit of meat on there, but we're not too worried about that. Next thing to do is where we've got any of these big lumps of fat, and I think we don't think it's going to render down during the cook process. We're just going to take those off. So I've just got my little vegetable carving knife just to get rid of all those as well. So you can come back in a couple of minutes when I've finished trimming it. Um, going to take the membrane off as well, actually. I won't bother talking through that because we did it with the baby back ribs. But a bit of kitchen paper, whoosh, just take the silver skin off and then they'll be prepped. And then I'll talk you through the, uh, talk you through the rub. The ribs are now prepped and they're ready to go. I've taken the membrane off on the back and you can see I've just taken off any any sort of like straggly big lumps of flat fat and then I've I've left a fair bit on the top because you want that to render it down but any of just the, like I guess the really big clumpy bits I've just trimmed a little bit just to try and get a bit more of the flavor of the rub through to the meat so when it comes to the um, the rub I'm using this super sweet mix because what we're going to try and do today is like competition style which I, I think it's all about really just sort of like about finding higher levels of sweetness apparently on the competition circuit the judges favor so like a sweeter rib slightly more um a little bit more bite to it so it doesn't fall off the bones so we're going to be going with this um really sweet really sweet mix today so it's it's predominantly soft brown sugar in there with a fair bit of salt um then we've also got uh chili powder a bit of cumin black pepper onion and garlic onion powder and garlic powder as always um, and just a little bit of cinnamon as well. Um, I tried a little bit of it. It was it was pretty nice. It's really sweet, but had a real nice little kick to it as well because of the chilli powder kicking in. So we're going to get that seasoned up pretty liberally and then we'll rest it up for about an hour. Lovely little glisten to that coming through as the salt and sugar has been sort of absorbed by the meat and it's sweat a little bit. It's starting to smell pretty nice as well. Um, got a full chimney of lump on the go. And then... Um, just fairly sparsely filled charcoal basket and um, we'll be getting the, the wood on there in a few minutes when the chimney's just burning through so it's time to go and have a look at the wood that we're going to use today nice little crackle and sizzle coming out the chimney so that's going to be going on shortly um, we've picked our wood so I've actually gone for um, apple and cherry so I'm going to try and add to well just continue to build that sweet flavour profile by using the fruit woods basically so a chunk of apple and cherry for our one hour two and then if need be just a couple of little bits just to add some smoke for the third hour um because that three to one method that i mentioned earlier three hours in the smoke two hours wrapped and then an hour back out in the open um so let's get cracking we're at 221 fahrenheit so we are safely in the smoking zone um just running the probe through the little eyelet today because i'm only um, worried about the the grill temp um smoke's pluming through really nicely now from those apple and cherry chunks so we're going to get the ribs, put them on now, and um, then they're going to sit on there for three hours. That's first step of the three-two-one method, 
um, and then I'm going to put some more wood on and um, start the second hour and start the third hour as well but it's all about just getting it smoked out in that open atmosphere for those first three hours um, I have got a little spritz as well so half apple cider vinegar half apple juice I'll just be using that sporadically for like every 45 minutes or so just to make sure um, it stays nice and moist before we then wrap it up after three hours so we'll be back at about four o'clock to talk you through step two which is when we'll wrap them Three hours in, I've just pulled them off now and brought them into the kitchen, put them in some foil because we're going to get the braising liquid in there. Um, I said sweet profile competition style, so we're going butter, soft brown sugar, honey, and then a braising liquid of Dr. Pepper and apple juice as well. I'm not going to lie to you, gang, I'm pretty excited about this. So we've got the Dr. Pepper and apple juice braise in there, and then I've just covered the ribs in butter, soft brown sugar, and honey. And they are beginning to look um, pretty, 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 pretty good at the moment. So we're going to bundle these up. Step two of the three, two, one method is a foil package Texas crutch for two hours. So we'll be back at about quarter past six. 6.15, dusk has fallen. Um, so we've had three hours in the smoke. We've had two hours wrapped up in the um in the braising liquid in the foil um time for the final hour now so i'm just going to take the ribs out of the the foil package i'll show you what they look like in a sec once i've got them unwrapped and then it's the final step step three of the three two one method which is one hour um just to uh just to sort of like um crisp up the bark a little bit finish the cooking process and i'll be putting on a um barbecue sauce for the final 20 minutes of that as well um so i'll just quickly unwrap them and you can see what they look like here we go start the final hour just for a very quick look so starting to look quite nice nice bit of smoke penetration it's just starting to come off the off the bone a little bit um but yeah smell pretty good pretty happy with these so final hour and then as i said last 20 minutes just going to go um just glaze them with the barbecue sauce um so i've just used um just you can use bullseye barbecue sauce but i've just put in the rest of the dr pepper in there as well just to sweeten it up a little bit so we'll see what they look like in about an hour's time Time to take them off. Let's just unclip the lid. Oh, Let's see what we got. A nice steaming rack of St. Louis style. Beautiful. Right, let's take these off, get them on the slab in the kitchen, see what they look like. Pretty happy with these guys. Meat's just coming away off the bone nicely. Got a nice glistening glean to them. Gonna chop them up, get stuck into them and see what they're like. I hope you enjoyed that. See you again soon. Like and share and subscribe. See ya.